Hello, Property Genie users. I'm Ben Pittman, president of Property Genie, and today I'm out here doing a home inspection using Property Genie on a tablet PC. So you can see how to do it using, in this case, I'm using an Android, uh, but you can use any tablet PC that you have access to. As long as you have an internet connection at the location you're doing the video and a device, you can do your inspection online. Come on inside and let's start. All right, now the first thing that I did was I took a look at the previous inspection which had a photo record of all of the rooms in this home and I was able to look at the condition when the tenants moved in. Because in Property Genie we have pre-built this inspection customized to this home, I know that when I first come in I'll find a dining room, a living room, and a kitchen, and a family room on the first floor. So we're going to start in those rooms. And so in Property Genie, if you can see, we're going to edit our review. Okay, the first thing we're going to do in Property Genie in order to edit the review is locate the property address and then find the Reviews tab. After selecting that, you'll want to go to the current uh, scheduled appointment and click on that. And here we see the, the uh, pre-scheduled rooms. Here are the uh, photos from the previous inspections we performed. And this is where we customize each room for what items need to be inspected. On the left you see the rooms, and on the right you saw the items that needed to be inspected. Now we'll move into the actual review, and here we see the customized inspection report for this property. First room is the living room. and we need to find that uh, window sill we were inspecting uh, as a walls condition and we need to make a note that the window sill needs to be cleaned and repainted from the water damage If this was a move out, we could click that and it would put that on the move out claim, security deposit claim form when we were ready to move this in and out. Here we see all the rest of the items that need to be inspected in this home. All right, we'll go back to our uh, on site video. The first room on our list is the living room, and we'll move on in there and do our first inspection. And in here, we need to check the blinds, the draperies, the walls, the ceiling, the screens and the windows, switches, outlets, light fixtures. And we can do our visual inspection of the property. And if we just slide over, if we want to take a photo of this room, we can just pull up here on an Android, pop back over to our camera applet, and take our photo for this room. If there are any special conditions, like a dirty window sill that needs to be cleaned and repaired, we can take that photo as well. All right, let's move on to the next room. And we'll just pop back over to Property Genie to finish the inspection. All right, in this room, we're going to inspect the characteristics of the room that we, we were instructed in the sheet to check. So we'll check our fixtures and screens and other aspects of this room. And well, we found a little bit of damage, so we're going to take a photo. And then in Property Gene, we're going to go right in and find the dining room walls are not in good condition. So we're going to edit the review. Okay, we're doing essentially the same thing in the dining room. We've got a damage to the wall, so we're just going to come in and edit the review. Dining room wall, fair, scratch in wall, please patch and repaint. And we save the change. Let's assume that this report is complete and we will go ahead and generate our uh, documents. 
if you had gone on site and you didn't want to use a tablet, you could click Review Sheet, and that would give you a printed sheet. All right, Word is generating our standard letter to the tenant, letting them know that we have, during our recent review of your residence, we were no most impressed by the pride and care you take in your home. However, we did notice some items that need your attention, and these items were pulled from our most recent inspection. Now we're going to move into the dining room and inspect that room. And we know from the property genius told us that we needed to inspect the ceiling and the walls. And wait a minute, there's something wrong in this room. There's a scratch on this wall. Let's get a picture. All right. And we're good to go. This room is otherwise fine. <laughs> okay, with that room done, we'll proceed into the... Um, into the kitchen and we'll perform our inspection and photos in here. So, we'll get our shot. Get our shot in here. Cameras. Boom. Camera. Okay, there we go. And we'll take our photo for the kitchen. Great. And we can go back to, now we can go back to Property Genie and the inspection list. And check off the items in here. Anything that we find, we'll add it on our uh, Property Genie inspection report. If this was a move out report, we would click the, the button which says claim, and that will put that note on the claim form, if this is a move out, we're doing a security deposit claim on the property. All right, I'm going to finish the inspection of this home and all the rest of the rooms, and then I'll attach the photos to the property inspection report, and we'll take a look at what the finished product looks like. Finished your inspection, and you've got your photos. You can attach the photos to uh, your inspection just by adding them to your Dropbox folder, which will be connected to both your um, public uh, property genie records as well as your photos stored on the tablet. So we can just select a photo and add it to the appropriate container for the property address and just keep doing that at, with all of the photos for your inspection. And they'll all be uploaded and available to be in your property inspection. Okay, once you've uploaded your photos through Dropbox into your common container, then you can easily come into Property Genie, select the appropriate inspection you're performing, and uh, just edit the picture. Click on the photo container, and then browse for the appropriate photo that you um, that you recently uploaded by navigating to your Dropbox folder and wherever you're storing your common Property Genie uh, property records and locate that most recent photo. That'll be that one. Open. And drop it in. And now that's added to the photo record for that inspection. Hope you enjoyed this tour of how to do your property inspections with Property Genie. If you want more information on how to set up your Property Genie on a tablet uh, using remote desktop, we'll be happy to send you those detailed instructions. Just email Ben at property-genie.com and I'll, I'll send you the, uh, all the detailed information. Thanks for watching.